Welcome to Reverse Engineering News. I'm your host, Hash. Thanks for joining. Today, I've got a single story for you. It's going to let me give you a little more detail, and it'll also make the video shorter overall, which will make it more shareable. If you like this specific thing you want to share it with somebody, you can send it over. Now, what I want to show you is reverse engineering a circuit board. So this is figuring out where all the traces go on the board, how all the parts are connected. And for boards like this Nintendo Switch Lite, that's a pretty complex task. Now here's the board. I found this site, which is really cool, that shows all of the layers of the board. Someone went to the trouble to sand down every single layer, all 12 of them, and image it in between. It's no easy feat. I don't know if they did it via an automated method, or if they hand sanded it and just had a massive attention to detail. But whichever way it was, the results are fantastic. It allows you to see all of the connections that go from BGA chips down through the board to ground planes and power planes and things like that. But if you really want to trace the connections on a board, that's kind of the hard way to do it. Like it allows you to see everything. I've done it myself before and it's nice, but when you get a board as complex as a Nintendo Switch or an iPhone or a laptop or something like that, I mean, it's really tough. What you'd like to do is click on the pin and just see where all the connections are. And that's what Open Board View lets you do. You can see now the same Nintendo Switch circuit board, but when we click on any of the pins, you see where the connections go. So these connections here that have been sanded down, you can see clearly they go underneath the BGA chip. In Open Board View, we can also clearly see those same connections, but a lot easier to trace, especially when you get to things like pins going to ground or going across circuit boards and jumping through layers. Now this Board View is special. I'm going to tell you a little more about it in a second. But generally, board views are found on repair forums or factory leak sites or other places because I think they're just generally for authorized repair centers or maybe to be used with the manufacturer when they're working on their own boards. So it's not stuff that they're just handing out. You don't go to apple.com and download the board views for the iPhones, although that would be nice. Now, Micro Soldering created this one that we're looking at in board view, but the way he did it, it's fantastic. Like, look at this image. That's over 1,900 wires that were individually soldered to every single point on the circuit board. Every single point that had a component or anything that looked like a connection to somewhere else, there's a wire soldered to it. Just think about how long that would take and think about those BGA parts and soldering wires to every single one of those and not having any of the wires break off as you're doing all this, ripping pads off the board or anything else. And we built this custom jig which allows him to scan this large array of wires, basically to feed voltage into one wire and then see where does it come out. You know, kind of like stuffing water in a hole in the ground, a gopher hole or something, and seeing where do all the gophers pop out. That's basically it, but for electronics. Now he also imaged this circuit board at 6,000 DPI and all of these individual files stitched together. Now there's different software that you can use to view these board view files. This one's open board view. And there's others I've seen. There's Flex BV5, uh, Cadence Allegro has one of their own. I'm sure there's other manufacturers that have them too. And depending on where you download a board view file, it may be in a specific format that, you know, was leaked from somewhere or something else. So you might have to use a different board view viewer to take a look at it. Now, I kind of went down a rabbit hole with this thing. Micro Soldering shared this work with me, shared this site um, where he explains a little more of it, uh, how he went about it. And so I started searching for board view files because I've, I've not been in the repair industry. I didn't even really know these things existed, despite the fact that I've watched TikTok and everything else. And I've seen these guys repairing stuff and I've seen stuff like this pulled up on the screen, but I just never went and searched for it. So I found a site called badcaps.net. It's kind of like a forum. It's a free site, so as long as you, you have to register for an account, but big deal. And you can download files from there. They seem to be pretty open about sharing what they have. There was another search engine site called Jabsy that I found. Um, it was kind of a little, I don't know if any of them are really super organized. You gotta kind of search around and, and find what you're looking for. Um, but then there was some pay sites. So there's laptopschematics.com. They have a like a monthly charge model, I guess you can subscribe to getting uh, board views and schematics. And appleschematics.com, which honestly surprised me, but it shouldn't. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm surprised it just 
that they exist, that Apple hasn't like litigated that into hell or, or whatever else, because I got to think that those things are being leaked. Like Apple's not handing out any of these files that are on there. Uh, you know, they're as closed as it gets. So I'm, I'm surprised, honestly, that it still exists. I don't know, who knows, maybe they're operating out of some country where it's tougher to take it down. Now, if you have board view sources, uh, spots where you download them, where you get really high quality board views, I'll let people know in the comments. It's nice to be able to repair your own stuff and things like this make taking apart an iPhone or a Nintendo Switch Lite or something else a little more approachable because at least you can figure out where the heck the connections are going. Thanks for watching.